Okay, I'm in what I'm calling my office here at the house. It has basically become a cardboard storage location. Uh, just cardboard piled up everywhere from purchases and moving things. All these boxes that are you see full over here are empty. Um, no, I take that back. Some of them have packing material in them. Uh, over here, I've got more boxes with packing material and stuff. A few boxes that I haven't opened yet. But I'm staging the purchases from the Mega Haul, the Mega Purchase in here. And so that's what we have in here. So we're going to look at what we got. Um, this here is the original large helicarrier. It is not new and unsealed, or new and sealed, but it is complete. Or at least I'm told it's complete. We'll find out eventually. And then I've just got bags of Lego bags here um, and over here. The Millennium Falcon still in the original shipping box. Right down there, Millennium Falcon. Um, so I'm going to go through and open up, uh, kind of like take the stuff out of the bags and see what I have because I haven't even done that. This is how most of these bags were. They were just bags and I just picked them up and went. So we're going to start looking through these bags. I apologize for the lighting in here. Uh, I wasn't really planning on shooting videos in here, but then this happened, so now I am. So here we have Harry Potter Quidditch match, 75956. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, one of the Star Wars sets. The uh, Anakin's Pod Racer 20th anniversary, 75258. I was picked up on clearance somewhere. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of this stuff was picked up on clearance, but maybe not all of it. Oh, this one's big. Ugh. Ah. We've got the Nintendo Entertainment System set. Uh, 71374. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Apologize for the poor lighting type things. All right, so we got an Overwatch set here. The... Deva and Reinhardt, I believe it is, 75973. That's cool. Um, and a different Overwatch set. This one is Junkrat and Roadhog, 75977. Sorry about the glare there. I'm trying to take care of all that. That's one bag. And then the Helicarrier. Move on to the next bag. Now, this looks like it's just one set, and I think. It's pretty obvious this is the roller coaster. Um, the 10261, which ironically uh, was a set I didn't already own, so now I do. Uh, there was also tucked in here a couple of the uh, motors for it, tucked in the side. He told me about that. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple more of the Quidditch match sets here. I'm going to put these over here. Uh, J.C. Penny bag. I somehow doubt this stuff was bought at J.C. Penny, but maybe. Crunch. Ugh. The modular modern house, three one zero six eight. Uh, that's pretty cool. And is it two copies of the same thing? It certainly looks like it. Yep. So I mean, this is really great because I mean, not only am I just picking up quantity of stuff, but I'm picking up some stuff that you know in that I may already have, and some stuff that maybe I don't. Here's another big one. What do we have here? 10255. This is Assembly Square. I see that down there. Um, I have this already, but, you know, having more is not a problem at all. All right. Pulling out another one. Ugh. Well, we've got another... Anakin's Pod Racer 20th anniversary set. Again, more quantity, the same thing. That's not a problem. Uh, 75228 Escape Pod versus Dubak Microfighters. All right. Ugh. And here is the People Pack Fun Fair 60234. Well, that's a pretty cool set. All those minifigures. I really like that. Always good to have more minifigures. All right. Ah, the rise of Voldemort. Harry Potter seven five nine six five. Little graveyard type scene there. Ah, 
uh, Hogwarts Room of Requirement, 75966. It's uh, got the, the nice trans blue animals there. Ugh. All right. The, oh boy, I'm going to, the pronunciation on this one, Stigimolok Breakout. Stigimolok? I don't know. Maybe not. 75927. Uh, I probably have a copy of this or two somewhere. Another one of the Rise of Voldemort. Ugh. Well, look at that. Yet another Rise of Voldemort. So that's three right there. That's always good for parting out. And when you have three, what's better? Four. So four is even better for parting out. Ugh. All right. And this one is Yoda's Hut, 75208. That's a cool looking set. I kind of particularly like that they gave the R2 the dirty components on this one. So that, I, I thought that was a nice little touch on that. All right, that bag is empty. I'm just gonna go to this bag next. What do we got here? Uh, 75201, first order ATST. Very nice. Put that one aside. Uh, General Grievous's combat speeder, 75199. Looks like we got Mace Window in that one. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, big set. Ah, Slave One 20th Anniversary Edition 75243. That's a good one to have. I think I have a couple of it already, so having another one, not a problem. Ugh. And look, it's consistency. Another copy of the Slave One 20th Anniversary Edition. What else do we have in here? All right, we got this. Look, that's another Anakin's Pod Racer. Add that to the pile. And again, with consistency, another Anakin's Pod Racer. And the last item in this particular bed is yet another Anakin's Pod Racer. So that's definitely going to be good for parting out. And the nice thing is, too, is like some of these sets are older. I mean, the parting out of them is going to be a little bit nicer than, you know, a brand new set. And I will probably look to make sure that it's worthwhile parting them out. Some of these might be better off left as sets. And we'll see when we get to that point. So we had, um, there was one, I had brought, I had one of these uh, reusable Lego bags in my car. And this bag in here, this Lego bag, was pretty badly ripped. So I just slipped that bag in this bag. Ah, and we have here, yup, another Quidditch match. That's a good thing to have. Bunch of figures in there, too, it looks like. Mandalorian, child, brickheads. And that is the 75317, it looks like. It's a little hard for me to read because they printed the numbers so small. My, my sight is not what it used to be. I used to not wear glasses or anything. Uh, November of 19, I went and saw an eye doctor. And my eyes apparently do something weird. Like they, they're they bad at distance and they're bad at close, but they've compensated. So they were kind of okay for a long time. But now I was getting some trouble reading things, especially small things. Like right here, I can read the side of that box. Toys, 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 toys. You know, I can read that. But, you know, down there at the bottom, I would be a little harder to read, you know, even if I was real close. So um, the, the doctor actually recommended not getting me a prescription. Just go to the dollar store and buy $1 plus 1.25 reading glasses. And it works like a charm. I have four pair. It cost me $4. And, you know, I leave them here. I leave them there. And I should probably get a couple more pairs just so they're in a couple more places. So I always have a pair. Anyway, so another Mandalorian and Child Brickheads. That's a, another welcome thing. I have a couple of those already, I think. We have, yep, a third Mandalorian and Child Brickhead. That's always a plus. All right, so what we got here is a little bit bigger. All right, so this is the Hogwarts Express 75955. And I've looked at this set several times. I just never pulled the trigger on it. Um, just waiting for like a better price, you know, a little bit lower price. Uh, train stuff usually does pretty well. Uh, we'll see. Actually, um, I picked up a different uh, order from Craigslist yesterday. 
And that'll be another video at some point, but there's some train stuff in there, and we'll show you that when we get to it. So that's something else to look forward to, is some older train stuff that I've picked up at a Craigslist list. Uh, another Hogwarts Express. And I have this funny feeling, yep, 8-3rd Hogwarts Express. So yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Ugh. That bag is also now empty. Three more to go. Ugh. What do we got in here? Ugh. Ah, yes. <laughs> the downtown diner. I just purchased this. And I paid significantly more than retail. So now I have another one. 10260. It's a downtown diner. A harder to back up and get the whole thing in the picture there. This time we're going to send the set this direction. I'm running out of room to my left. Ugh. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised when I see another downtown diner. So now I have three of them, at least. And I might have even already had one, so I possibly have four at the moment. I just don't know for sure about that one. All right, let's get this one next. What do we got here on top? Well, look at that. Another Yoda's hut. Always good to have du duplicates on all this stuff. So far, I think I've had duplicates on pretty much everything I pulled out. Well, with, except for the um, corner square and the uh, roller coaster, the Nintendo Entertainment System, and the Helicarrier. And the Helicarrier isn't even brand new, but that's okay. All right, here's something different. Uh, here is Rex's Rex Explorer uh, 70835 from Lego Movie 2. I have some of these already, so now I have more. And, oh, big. Oh, okay. Huh. This is the Rex Celsius, one oh or 70839 from Lego Movie 2, and I have some of those already. So, the more quantity on those, certainly not a problem at all. Ugh. One bag left, and that's just what's here. That's just what's here at the moment. Oh, look at that. I can tell what this is right off. Ugh. It's a haunted house. 10273. And because it's in a vertical orientation and I'm filming sideways, you can't really see the whole thing at this distance all in one frame. But I can back up some. Ugh. So yeah, haunted house out of that bag. And it looks like just uh, a Lego catalog left for when they bought that. So yeah, let's just back up here and take a look at all the stuff. Uh, and like I said, this is just the first scratching of these storage units. Now, I don't think a lot of the additional stuff I'm going to bring in is going to be quite this nice. I did, I intentionally grabbed the Lenny and Falcon because I knew it was there. I intentionally grabbed the Helicarrier because I knew it was there, peeking out over there underneath the stuff. Um, and a lot of these other ones, the bags are just, it was very easy to grab these bags. They made nice handles, stuff was already in them. And so I grabbed this stuff. Now there's a lot more stuff that's some smallers, you know, size of the Hogwarts Express and smaller that is going to come over at some point. Uh, I'm going to be getting some help with that. Ironically, this weekend I actually had rented a truck to help some friends out clear out one of their storage units. And so we're going to do that. And we're probably going to finish off whatever I don't get in the next couple of days from those two storage units. And if we still have any gumption and drive left on Sunday before I have to return the truck, we will probably clear out the smaller of my two storage units, which only has uh, some bulk loose Lego in it in totes. Um, and then we'll see what goes from there. But I'm, I'm making progress and probably getting myself in over my head making this big of a purchase. But, you know, trying a different thing here. Just doing something I hadn't really ever expected to do. Uh, buying a storage unit with a bunch of Lego in it. I mean... What are the odds? I mean, I'm sure storage units go up for auction, but this was different. Uh, he put up an ad on Craigslist, and I responded, went and looked at it, and then we discussed price. He did pull a few things out of the storage unit, uh, a number of things that I didn't have any interest in at all. He did pull out a little bit of Lego that he wanted to retain, but it wasn't anything I was too terribly concerned about. Uh, the only other matter of contention was the Millennium Falcon. It, we, he considered it his baby, and I certainly understand that. So we haggled a little bit more to include that. And yeah, so I paid him today. Uh, I have the keys. And so, yeah, I'm looking to clear this stuff out so that uh, he can close his units down uh, on Sunday or Monday. 
And that's the way it is. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you've got any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below. I'm excited to get more of these mega haul videos out. I have a new little series going for these. And we're just going to keep going. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list somewhere. A master list of all the stuff that I got out of this unit. So I can kind of keep track of it and see how well I did financially as far as this goes. Is, you know, is it worthwhile or not? But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care.